Sessions. And we are back once again, ladies and gentlemen, only on it is After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel. Now, joining me here all the way from Budapest, Hungary, <laughs> well, she is one of the top international stars in the adult industry, uh, perhaps one of the most beautiful women on the planet. And we're lucky to have her back on the show as a lot is going on and she's hoping to plan an American invasion in 2021-2022. I give you the talented, the beautiful, the always insatiable. I give you Miss Katana Lorea. Katana, so let's start off here with <laughs> it's been a it's been a First off, I've missed you, so I'm glad to see your beautiful face again. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kitana Lur, so you can uh, say Lur, not Lure. Lure. My apologies. Yeah, my dear. yeah like that. <laughs> let's, get to, let's get to brass taxes. It's been a tough year, last year, so with COVID, restrictions, shooting, not as much. Uh, how tough has it been for you just trying to find normalcy in a world which is becoming crazy? Uh, yeah, it's never normal because the rules are changing all the time, so we don't know. Uh, it just uh, costs more money for the, doing again and again the COVID test, and it should be more often than others test. So it's um, this, and uh, maybe I will find a solution to our, um, book the appointment to make this um, vaccination. It's going to be easier after for shooting so i don't go all the time in the clinic and do the test so let's talk about how you've had to evolve because as we said it's it's tougher shooting with covid because you got to do now an additional test um a lot of companies yeah. are shooting so i know you have of course your own uh website i know you had you're working on your only fans and other stuff here what have you been doing to make money so so that you don't have to rely on companies? Like, what are you doing to sort of keep ahead of things? I mean, I'm still working with the companies, and uh, it didn't change so much. Uh, just uh, sometimes they can stop because uh, some of the team can have this uh, COVID, so we wait or um, also every everybody in the team group, they do this test, like uh, a cameraman and uh, all their um, guys around, makeup artist also. So we're just doing more tests, that's it. And we see that we're clean and uh, we don't stop that much things. I mean, I'm, uh, still working for the same company. Maybe it changed for the other girls because they're uh, some of the girls they're um, working with a lot of company. I chose my favorite and they're uh, always working. They're still working. So for me, not many changes with the job. But is it weird like having to go on set and all of a sudden it's six feet apart? You got to wear a mask. You notice there's less people on set because you, know, you have to have you're restricted, I'm guessing, because nobody wants to spread everything. Is it is it getting is it different different for you noticing all the changes on set because COVID is forced? No, I mean there are others person, of course, they're wearing the mask, like makeup artistic, she's wearing the mask all the time. Me, uh Okay, she's doing for me the makeup. Of course, I take it off, and um, we're shooting uh, without mask with the actors still uh, because we have a new test in the morning. We're doing um, the fast one before, uh, right before the shooting. We do it, so we go there and we know that uh, the actors they're clean with this thing. And other team, uh, I think it's um, far enough, more than one and a half meter from us when they're shooting, so they're safe. Let's talk about your goals for the future. You've become this huge star 
over in Europe. And I know that, you know, a lot of people love you. You're one more popular people. When do you want to start traveling over to America? When do you hope to start shooting for American companies? <laughs> yeah, America, that, that could be nice for me. But uh, I need to organize this, you know, the stuff with the visa and everything. So if I go to America, it's for sure not for one month. So it will take a while because it's like big, big companies and I'm sure they do more job than here. So I should be ready for that because it's not happening tomorrow. Let's say it like that. When do you hope to see it happen? Like when, when do you hope to start making more traction, shooting, you know, more over in across the, you know, across Europe. Across Europe? Yes. Like when do you hope to start shooting over in England, in the United States? Have you given yourself, you know, like a timeline? Yeah, the reason uh, why I'm so long in Budapest for now, like uh, half, half of the year, uh, because uh, you don't know with, with this traveling uh, how fast the companies it will be will be ready to answer and to book you. Uh, in Budapest, uh, the companies, they're more stable. They're always here. They have uh, equipment here. They don't move in, they live here. So it's more safe to uh, work here than I will move, for example. I, I could go in Spain, but I don't, I'm not sure I will have um, as much job as here. If you're just oh. tuning in, once again, we get it's kind of lure of a show. We're talking all things, of course, COVID. We're talking shooting in Hungary as she's continuing to just do great work over in Europe. But so what do you look for when you're shooting with men and women? Because you get to now pick who you want. You're that top star. So what turns you on in women and what turns you on in men? Or uh, I think I've changed a lot. Uh because I always check my videos. I check, okay, where it was like uh, overacting or not enough, or maybe in in another position I could uh, show myself better. So I always, always check to improve it. And if I will look for the first movie and the last movie, the last test, they're so amazing <laughs> because I'm very critical to myself. And uh, if I say it amazing, then yes, <laughs> I reached that point. Like uh, super relaxed, confident, and uh, without overthinking about the character. So I uh, exactly know what I need to do. Uh, where is their limit of uh, overthinking? Uh, what's the important things to play this character or this? Because I don't like to to be, uh, uh, you know, um, of the character of one player. You know, only comedy or only drama, like uh, in normal movie. So I'm trying to um, to be flexible with the psychic and the, and if you will see it all of. Um, my movie, you will see their different uh, style, different character. I'm never the same in the movie. And I like it. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Give me like your bucket list. Like, what are some of the things that you want to do but you haven't done yet on camera or not even in, in your life? Or I think I'm I'm understanding that I can't live without music. I want to try this. <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which way. I mean, there's a lot of technique, a lot of, uh, you know, many things to try with the music. I will follow my intuition. Uh, because when you are uh, put the point too high, in front of you like oh i want to do this big 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 stuff it's not very good i would say i want to try it makes me more relaxed and uh, you know you can reach more things 
if you don't put too much pressure on you. So <laughs> let's try. So what do you love more, sex or music? Oh, sex with music is amazing. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying, but what do you love more? If you could only do one thing, what would you rather do, music or sex? And, and, I understand. Uh, so uh, for me, I don't like to separate things. So I, I will never uh, answer it like this, there or there. No, I think we need all all of things in their life. And I don't like to put one thing more important than another. It means if I need more music now, I will go this way. If I, I need more sex now, I will go for this way. It depends what I need for the now. Well, we, as I said, a lot of big things are going on here with you. So before we let you go, give me, tell me your favorite scene that you've ever done because you, You've worked with a lot of top companies. You've shot with a lot of top people. Give me your favorite experience on set. On the set? Yes. Wow. <laughs> this, oh, I can't tell you like one minute about that. I don't know. Uh, I think my favorite things, it's uh, Jacques Michel. Uh, rock and sex the name of movie rock and sex so there i played the lead role of the superstar which was a singer in the group so we reco we recorded my voice uh we did it with a guitar a little bit i don't play the guitar i play on the piano but uh, a little bit i could do for the movie so i did everything it's like wow i want my life to be like that like this uh actress i was so true to play this character because when i wrote the scenario i said oh that's my life <laughs> wow <laughs> i was so lucky we were uh, shooting from 6 30 am till uh 10 pm i was uh having no rest no time for the rest but I was so excited so happy to play this role I, I suggest to see it <laughs> to watch it because I can't explain like that what it means for me it's like wow there you can see the real actress of me <laughs> well very so happy ladies and gentlemen thing. once again I give you the very beautiful the sexy be very elegant I give you, it's Katana Laura. So Katana, before I let you go, where can the fans check you out at? Where is the Twitter page, Instagram, the website? Where can fans contact you at? Okay, for the porn, you can reach the, um, my Twitter. And there I'm posting things, what you want to find. But Instagram, I don't have it anymore. Uh, and I don't think I will build it because it's not for the porn style. And even when you're in the swimsuit, anyway, you can hide it, like uh, put something in between, like, no, they will, uh, they can remove it because of people complaining. So this is finished. I think the Twitter is enough for me for now. Well, very you, happy, you. ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I give you the beautiful and gorgeous Katana Laura. We come back. We got much more coming on. Only on it's After Hours. Only on the After Hours YouTube channel.